Gaffer, another tight turnaround. How have the lads firstly recovered and, and then trained today? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, obviously the starters only train light anyway from the other night. So the um, the rest of the squad would have done, you know, some more intense work this morning. But but other than that, yeah, everyone's fine. Yeah, all good. Bolton Wonders, of course, next up. How would you kind of assess their start to the season and their squad? Very good. Um, got a fair size squad. Uh, I think that from what I gather, their their budget's been very good and lifted this year, which it would be because they're just a big club anyway. So, you know, the percentage of that turnover obviously gives them a good advantage, I would imagine, in this league. Um, and they've assembled a, a decent squad, yeah. It feels like I'm looking at this every week, but it's another team in the top half of the table. How do we kind of go about dealing with those pressures? Um, dealing with the pressures? Um I don't know whether there is pressures on dealing with them in the top half, top half of the table. I don't think there's any different, really. You, you prepare the same as you would for any other any other team, really. I don't think there's any different pressures. You know, nine out of ten probably what they've got is sort of the bigger clubs have got more fans and a bigger squad. But that's that's what it is. You know, we're we're more than accepted of that. So nothing changes really. Does that make a difference, the, the size of the stadium, the, the, the crowds that they might have looking yeah. at back at Sheffield Wednesday? How much yeah. of a difference does it make? Well, it makes a big difference, and especially when you look at, um, say, the referee's performance the other night, it makes a big difference. So, you know, I've had another conversation yesterday again <clears throat> with the powers to be, the referees, and the other night, you know, Sean Morley gets booked. There's not a booking. Um, their first goal blatantly is handball. And they've admitted that when they look at it. But we need them decisions within the game. It's too late afterwards. So, saying that... <clears throat> and I've had this for the last three or four weeks, really. We've looked at quite a few things. When you look at... Um, their defender that was allowed to play and won the appeal you know there was no difference in Matthew Pennington sending off no difference so they talk about the double jeopardy um, we got penalised with a penalty but then he still got a red card and it wasn't rescinded and then they get a penalty um, the other day against them Wickham lad gets sent off red card gets rescinded so I think all managers ask for is a little bit of consistency. And I think that we've been, I pretty much think when I look back over the few games already this season, I think we've been on the rough end of refereeing decisions. How frustrating is that, not being able to, to control the referee's performance? Well, I've just said to the boys this morning, if we accept all season that we go into a season where they're not going to be very good, um, then we don't have to get too hung up on it which just means we have to be even better if they're not very good. Bolton had a good win in their last game. Do you look much into recent form? Um, well, just before you come in, I was looking into my my iPad, so um, looking at them then. So I think that there's um, good form that they've had, certainly away from home. I think that they've been, or well, probably, I think in fact they're the top team away from home in our league. So I think that that's certainly been a, a good source for them. Whereas at home, I think it has looked like it's been a bit more difficult for them. But as I said to you before, you know, I think when I first come in here, it doesn't matter where you pick the points up. We ended up picking up points away from home when I first came in. And then we didn't win until either the 28th or 29th of December here at home to Blackpool. So, and this season, it looks like we picked up more points at home than we have away. So, you always want that to happen, but it is nice if you can pick up results on the road, and they've done that very well so far. Just two more from me. Uh, Josh Feller and JD, how are they getting on? JD's probably a no. Josh Feller's, I probably think, at best. At best on the bench. At best. And that would be... You know, him probably wanting to be involved, certainly because it's Bolton, one of his old clubs. Um, but we can't let that 
camouflage a decision based on the injury and um, he's 100% on board with that I just don't quite know I think it's going to come a bit early for him everyone else everyone else all good um, yeah so just JD JD Josh Feller yeah a few sniffles but nothing serious thank you very much